All right, so let's go ahead and get into some goodies from UAG Urban Armor Gear, as you may know them by, and they have dropped me their UAG Civilian Case. And the Civilian is probably easily one of my favorite cases of all of the UAG lineup. Matter of fact, I know some of you would like tea. Why haven't you done a video on any anything UAG related? Let me go ahead and show you real quick. So, now UAG, you know, they bless your boy. They send me with a ton. I ain't done. A ton of cases, all right? They send me a ton of cases, but, 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 but guess just, just guess one thing that's wrong with every single one of these cases that they sent me. None of these have the button for the action button, so we can't do anything with those cases at all. We don't even want to look at them. If you guys want me to look at them, then y'all let me know, but I'm not going to pay nothing attention if it doesn't have the action button. That's just how it is, man. So the UAG Civilian... I think is gonna be one of the only updated cases for the action button. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. UAG Civilian, 20 feet of drop protection. As you can see here, built-in magnet, iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I feel like UAG has been listening because when I did the video last year, the Civilian, I told them that we want just one single color when it comes to Civilian. Sometimes they had an all black and there were a little bit of orange and, or a little bit of gray. It just kind of threw it off and they still had to add some sort of gray. Look, UAG, just give me an all black case. You don't need to add any accents or difference. Just give me all blue, all black, all whatever color you got. Just give me that, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. This is not going to be a knock on UAG video, but this is going to be a harsh video because I want companies to do better, especially with all of these 12 or so cases without the action button. But let's go ahead and get into it. So on the inside, you're going to get that hex pattern. That's going to allow you to kind of absorb some of that drop if you are to drop it. You see you do get your mag safe and you do get the little alignment magnet there. Now, when it comes to the UAG civilian case, this is kind of a, it's a very rigid case. It's nothing that's going to bend easy. It's not going to flex that easy. Very kind of hard plastic material. But that's one thing that I do want to talk about when it comes to this plastic material on the back. It is going to be slick. And as you can see here, it has the civilian type of design urban armor gear big bold branding on the back of it but one thing about this rear it's going to develop scratches all right and for 60 bucks yes this case is going to be 60 bucks we have to figure out something else better to do with this back because the thing about it it does get scratched up very easy now i know a lot of us of course your case protects your phone is meant to take the beating not the phone itself but sometimes we don't want to spend good money on the case and it starts to damage prematurely so that's one thing that will so it might happen when it comes to the back of this because it is a smooth type plastic material. You put this on a rough surface or something, I'm pretty sure you will get some fine scratch marks on there. But this is going to be a matte black. And of course, you see your buttons here. You're raised up. It has big air slits in them. So raised up power button. Same thing with the volume up and down and your action button. And when it comes down here to the bottom, you get your cutouts, which seems pretty good. Definitely seems pretty big enough to get that big port up in there. So you don't got to worry about not fitting any type C's or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get the scale. Let's pop this bad boy here and see how much it weighs. I really feel like it's not that heavy, but sometimes you got to get it in hand. If you know what I'm talking about, man. Let's go ahead and drop it down. 44 grams. So it's not going to be the lightest thing on the market, but I don't think it's... I think this, the scale just hit the 45 grams. Let's slap the phone in here. So with the Herba Armor, you know, the UAG Civilian, I'm not saying that whole name. The UAG Civilian with the 15 Pro Max in there, dropping it down all together. 281 grams so that's what it is for all those people who need to know all the little details but this is going to be it this is going to be the all black civilian series on that natural titanium of course this probably will look good especially if you had the black titanium but they have four different colors that you can choose from they have a a green burgundy blue and black if i'm not mistaken they all have their you know their names okay i was about to say a word that i was probably about to butch so i just made it dumbed down but they all got their names what they mallard and burgundy and olive drab, black, different things like that. But five, the four different colors that you can choose from to match up the color of your iPhone. But let's go ahead and step through it on the top side. It is going to be completely closed, as you can see there. On that right side, you're going to get that power button. This, all right, nice and nice and tactile. No issue there when it comes to the power button. Exactly what I expect. Flipping it over on the bottom, as you see, you do get your accurate cutouts and the cutout for that Type C. Over on that left side, nice and tactile. 
Nice action button. Very good job. See, UAG, I know you can do an action button. Now you got to do them for the other 20 cases you got down there on the ground, man. So you get a good button as there as well. And you flip it over on the back. You see you do get a very small lip when it comes to that camera. This camera ring is plastic. No aluminum or anything like that when it comes to this case. Everything is basically made out of plastic and stiff rubber-ish TPU type material. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at that lay on the tail protection. Now, they are touting 20 feet of drop protection. Now, that is a little extreme. And I wish I could go outside and just throw my phone from 20 feet, just drop it to really test that, man. Because for this to not have much shock absorption and type of things going on to it, 20 feet of drop protection seems a little bit... I just don't know, man. That's 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 kind of bold, you know what I mean? But y'all let me know if there's a civilian owner out there. You may say, T, it's true. You know, I dropped mine. But when it comes to lay on the tail protection, as you can see right here, and me looking at it, uh, I mean, it has a little lip that goes around it. Nothing too dramatic. When you're setting it down, of course, you're not going to be setting it on his face. But 20 feet of drop protection, you know, trust him, you don't trust him. I don't know what's, what's wrong it is, man, but this is kind of a, a finished type case. But, you know, we're going to keep it moving. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this case fits on the phone. Because the UAG civilian always fits like an absolute glove. And when it's popped on the corner, corner two, corner three. Corner four, they all have very nice pops going down with the pull and tug test. As you can see, very stiff. And this is what I expect when it comes to the civilian. You will get a little movement right here when it comes to the button area, but not too, too bad. Top and the bottom seems very stiff as well. You really kind of got to pull it hard to move it. So very nice fit. Civilian cases always fit. Even UAG, well, not all UAG cases, but most of them fit very snug, very firm and that's what we like and we still talking about phone cases man stay with me now how does this phone case feel in your hand it definitely feels like of course you feel like you have a case on it it does not feel bulky but one thing i like about it it does give you a very squared off ish feel because as you can see the size of this case it kind of mimics the squared off size so when you hold it you can kind of feel some areas in your hand and adding a new thing that we talk about in these cases or any short sharp points on your any sharp contact points that you need to think about before you pick up this case, I don't really feel anything that's too sharp on it. Everything is kind of smooth. Everything is kind of rounded off. So there is no rigid edge, sharp edges when it comes to this case. Adds minimum bulk in my opinion. I mean, I don't really think that's a bulky case. It's a very thin case in my opinion. That's why I'm still kind of questioning the 20 feet of drop protection. But who am I? I'm not a dropologist. I could be completely wrong and out of line. But fitting your hand doesn't feel bad. There is a case there, but I still think it keeps everything very thin definitely easily one of the thinner uag cases out there on the market now let's go ahead and jump into it let's get to the mag safe test this is becoming my favorite part of the video man y'all let me know if y'all feel the same way when it comes to this mag safe test now you know when it comes to back of devices like this with smooth surfaces sometimes things do have a hard time sticking on it and uag is historically not known for their mag safe all right but i kind of going a little bit out of order but when it comes to this wallet eh, you know it's uh, it's, it works, but if I feel like it's kind of moving around, you know, just a little bit. Let's go ahead and get back to the OG test. I was going all out of order. Now, will it pick this up? I don't know. Of course, it works with MagSafe, and it's not. You can hear it kind of wanting to pick the base up. You know, that's not terrible. It wants to pick it up, but not quite picking it up. Does it still have enough of confident MagSafe to get the job done? Yes, but I feel like UAG is one of those companies that's on the weaker side of MagSafe things, and I would like to see those magnets just improved just a little bit, all right? Let's go ahead and bring over to the Mag Shake Shake test, and let's see what we got. I'm predicting this is going to fly off, but let's just see. So... Well, there you go. There you got the mag shake test. It is over there. It flew off with the first shake. That's kind of telling you when I tell you when the magnets, man, this is a slick surface. Once again, things are not going to be, you're not going to be shaking your case like a madman, but that just tells you a lot with this smooth surface and how magnetic things stick on it. It has the ability to dislodge itself just a little bit easier. So, I'm not going to bother to go pick that up. Y'all kind of can be the judge of the mag safe strength yourself, man. But this is going to be the UAG Civilian, man. Should you buy this sitting at $59.99, 60 bucks for this case. And once again, I always like to put things in perspective and think about different cases that's in that $60 price point. You know, you got the sheath. You have... I mean, I'm looking at it, all my top cases down here. I'm not going to give them all away, man, but you got the sheath. You got the phone rebel. All those 
uh, they're not all the way up there at 60 bucks. And you're starting to see this at 60. I still would like to see a little something done with the back of this so it doesn't really mimic scratches as easy. The MagSafe strength just really isn't all the way there. That's really my two concerns with this case. I love the Civilian series, always have about this case. I just have issues with the back being so slick and being able to show a bunch of scratches over time. And also UAG's overall MagSafe strength, not just this one, Overall, across the board, I would like to see their MagSafe strength change. For 60 bucks, I don't know, man. Kind of a tough buy when it comes to the, co the competition that's out there on the market. But here it is, man, UAG Civilian. I'll be sure to drop the links down below. If you do want to pick yourself up one, it is still an amazing case. If you don't care about MagSafe strength being super powerful, it's still going to work just fine with everything you need to work with. Pick it up. And if you're not worried about your case getting scratches on it, you're not really concerned about that, then this is going to be a very, very good case. Those are just my critiques about it. Let me know if you're, how you're feeling about the UAG, man. Hit the links down below. But if you want to check out some titanium goodness, I did a video of my best titanium accessories, my EDC, all titanium stuff. I'll be sure to pop that video right here.